Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use my session idea generator. This device is designed to help generate um, sort of starting points for projects in Ableton Live. So first of all, you're going to want to go to the link in the description, which is uh, for maxforlive.com, where you can download it. Um, if you just click on download device, And then you want to just drop it into your user library in Ableton. You can go pretty much anywhere you like. And once it's in there, drop it into a track. As soon as you drop it in, it will generate uh, something for you. Or you can click the generate button to generate new ideas each time. What it'll do, it'll create a suggested subgenre for your project to be in and a song name. Uh, it'll also suggest a BPM and a time signature. These will be populated up here whenever you generate a new one. So here we've got something in 6-2 time. <laughs> Just a bit unusual. A uh, tempo of 129, a suggested key of D. Let's try some others. Um... Okay, let's try that. 48151 BPM subgenre abstract vapor trap uh, song name ill informed snails. If you're not sure what the subgenre is, you can click here for genre info uh, where it'll search Google for a definition of vapor trap. Or you can search Wikipedia. Um, it's given a redirection from vapor trap to vapor wave. So obviously vapor trap is a subgenre in itself of vapor wave. The other feature is um, you can look for sample sources based on the song name. So here, if you click free sound, it's going to search free sound for the first word in the song name, which is ill informed. Or you can search YouTube and that'll search the full thing, ill-informed snails. The idea is that you uh, grab a sample from the first link that you find, either here or here, and you build your tune out of that. That is the challenge. Um, a couple of other things, uh, you've got a live link, so if you don't want the tempo and time signature to be populated in Ableton Live, you unclick the live link. Uh, if you do want it to be populated, click the live link and when you generate the tempo and the time signature it will be populated for you. The other feature uh, is the settings and in here you can add your own words for the uh, suggested song name. There's um, currently a, I think a few hundred in there at the moment. And you can either have adjective and noun combinations, which is what we have here, or you can have verb and adverb combinations. So they change accordingly. Or you can have either adjective and noun or verb and adverb combinations. These are all set to default at the moment, but you can enter your own as well. Um, you basically just copy and paste a list into there. There is a maximum amount of a few hundred, I think, you can do because um, Max for Life started freaking out when uh, <laughs> I put too many in, so don't go mad with that. Um, I think there's a limit into how much you can actually put in there. I wouldn't go more than a thousand, to be honest. Um, and you can have other combinations of these. So you could have user-defined adjectives and default nouns, but I'm going to them all on default for now and that's it so uh, enjoy creating some uh, crazy subgenres in unusual time signatures and tempos okay that's it for now bye bye